Well, today's gospel concludes Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. Jesus is saying to us today that you got to put your faith into action. It's not enough just to wear a fancy St. Francis de Sales shirt or to wear nice religious medals. It's not enough just to sit there and listen to God's Word, but you got to put those very practical teachings of Jesus into practice. Some Christians believe that just having faith will save you. But even St. James in the New Testament said that we are not saved by faith alone because even the devil can have faith. Now, obviously, faith is important to us. It's vitally important. Faith gives us hope. Faith enlightens our conscience. Faith helps us to triumph over fear. Faith is the, the fuel that we need to do good. Faith in Jesus makes us a Christian. And faith should envelop our heart and mind and soul and body. Orthodoxy, uh, believing in the true teachings, is one thing, and we should be orthodox in our beliefs. But there's also orthopraxis, which means doing the truth. Walk the talk. Because Jesus says, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. Knowing the right words are not enough, friends. We can cry out, Lord, Lord, all day long, but God doesn't want just lip service from us. Faith must be accompanied by works, by good actions. Back when I was in the seminary, I became a devotee of St. Francis de Sales. And what a blessing it is for me to, for the past 10 years, to pastor a church under his patronage. When I was studying homiletics, I came across this quote from St. Francis de Sales. The test of a preacher is that his congregation goes away saying not what a lovely sermon, but I will do something. So in my priesthood, I've tried to craft homilies that are hopefully somewhat inspiring, aspirational, but hopefully practical too. I try to recommend in each homily a few good things to do that can exercise our faith muscle because as Jesus tells us, everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. You see, the deeds we do, the works we accomplish, has to be of good quality. If Christianity is for you easy and simple and you're not challenged, then you have built your house on sand. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house and it collapsed and was completely ruined. But to those who listen to Jesus and do what he says are those who build their house on solid rock. They're building for a future and they can withstand rain and flood and winds. So what practical things can we do that will express our faith and make our faith stronger? Well, first of all, don't think of doing great, big, dramatic things because great occasions for serving God come seldom, but little ones surround us daily. So in your real life, practice the virtues of patience, mercy, kindness, and generosity. Practice those virtues consciously, deliberately, purposefully, and effectively. And with that in mind, choosing to live those virtues, you will know how to practice your faith. May Almighty God bless and keep you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Have an effective Thursday.